Welcome to the Muskie Sports Blast Inside the Huddle. Joining me today is Muskingum Head Men's Basketball Coach Gene Ford. Coach, looking at this, the roster so far this year, one player really having a standout season, Kyle Kleindens. Can you talk about the junior forward and what he means to this team? Well, you know, I, I think Kyle uh, is uh, reaping the uh, benefits of the hard work that he put in over the summer and last spring. I mean, he really dedicated himself, got in the weight room, uh, got stronger, spent a lot of time uh, at home working with uh, 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 employer that has a, a gym that works kids out. So uh, Cal really uh, spent a lot of time and has done a tremendous job in terms of uh, leadership. And of course, with Josh Brimley going down, it's, it's really been uh, a lot on his shoulders. And people are keying on him because, uh, you know, he is basically our, our offensive threat. Uh, and that's made it tougher with the loss uh, of Brindo. Now all the attention gets on Cal. So I think he's held up pretty well. Uh, he got banged up the last game pretty good. But, uh, you know, he's, he's shown that he's resilient. He'll, he'll keep fighting. One aspect of this year's team is the defense. Currently ranked first in the OAC. Can you talk about that? Well, yeah, I think we trained to be ranked first in offense. Uh, yeah, you know, I think a lot of it is the style of play, obviously possession basketball. But but our guys have fought hard. And, and, and uh, you know, we're in there uh, night in, night out, uh, you know, not given a lot of easy baskets. The guys are taking a lot of pride in the fact that, uh, you know, they're trying to defend to the best of their ability. And, uh, you know, it, it's something that you can hang your hat on a little bit. I think it's more a sign of toughness that our guys are, are, are playing physical and willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, their conference opponents. The you know, defense has certainly kept you in some games this year. Record does not indicate how well this team plays night in and night out. Eight or seven games you've lost by eight points or less. What do you tell the kids? Boy, that, that becomes tough. You know, a lot of times our foul shooting has been absolutely horrendous, at, you know, less than 60%, somewhere around 58%. Uh, and we've had some nights where we've been, the one night we were 4 for 17, 23%. We've been 50% many occasions. So um, it, it's really hard. Uh, you know, you, to get the kids to go out and tagger it up and play, you know, their heart out uh, night in and night out when – uh, it seems like a broken record, you know. Well, okay, guys, if we would have just done this, you know, uh, done that. So it, it has been a challenge, but I think it's a credit to our young people that, that we are competing. And there's a difference between just participating and, and competing. And I think our guys are competing, and, um, you know, hopefully something good will happen to us here. And, and it's got to happen pretty soon with, uh, you know, just uh, six late games left. Yeah, this week's a big week as far as you start looking at the possibility of making the OAC tournament for the top eight teams. You have a game at Mountain Union, then you host Baldwin Walls here. What will the Muskies have to do this week in that stretch to get a couple wins? Well, you know, I think we have to continue to play, you know, pretty good defense. The biggest thing, we have to shoot the ball better. You know, uh, we shot the ball at Heidelberg at 40 percent. Uh, but, you know, we, we got to have a night where we shoot it, you know, 45, 48 percent. And we got to get, you know, 70 percent from the foul line. Uh, obviously, take care of the basketball, not turn it over. So, you know, we're going to have to play uh, a good game, uh, both of those, I should say, games. We're going to have to play well on Wednesday and Saturday to win. But we are certainly capable. Um, and uh, hopefully maybe we would get Brindley back for Saturday. Tomorrow he goes for the uh, – maybe to get his cast off, but I don't look for him to obviously be ready Wednesday. But maybe we can get a few minutes out of him on Saturday, and, and that should give us a little bit of a lift. Okay, Coach, I want to thank you for taking time today to join us on Inside the Huddle, and good luck this week. Thank you.